Hey, what's up everyone? It's Dave Stone with another exciting episode of Develop Awesome Skills where I'm committed to providing inspirational and practical ways to transform your life and the world around you by planting fruit and medicinal trees. And today I'm gonna talk about a fruit tree here. Uh, well, it's not really a tree, it's more of a plant. Um, but these are my bananas. <laughs> Look at them go, they're going crazy. Um, this is an ice cream banana or a blue java. And there's so many pups down here. Uh, I'm gonna give you guys a closer look, but I have two bananas here. And as you can see, this ice cream banana is already gonna be going up above my house. It's already above my roof. And a whole new new leaf is popping up in the middle there. Um, so, and then there's so many pups down here. This is, this is a leaf off of a pup. That's not even a leaf off of the main tree there. And then over here I have a dwarf Cavendish banana. So this one's not gonna get as tall, but this one's gonna get up over my roof before it starts producing bananas. I might have to tie it to my roof. So they say it gets really, really heavy when the bananas start coming out. But the, I love these leaves, they're just so amazing. So I wanna show you how many pups I have here. Check out this dwarf Cavendish. It looks really, really good. Super healthy. I planted these last year. Uh, after I got back, so this was last year after I got back from South Africa, probably May, probably June. I think I planted these here in June. They were real small and they died all the way back and they sprouted back up from the roots. Both of these. Look at all these pups on this ice cream banana. Um, it's, it's, it's huge. So the dwarf Cavendish is nice and thick. The, the leaves come out real close together. So you can see how close this unfolds boom and then boom and then boom you know all the way up to the new the new shoot which is coming out right now nice and nice and healthy but when you look at the ice cream banana you can see how you know the arms come out this way but there's much more room in between each one of these it's like it's a lot taller it just and and this is the trunk I mean, this trunk is like, it's massive. And even the trunks of some of these pups are getting pretty big. Down here, this little pup, a nice little pup there. One back there in the, in the back. So, nice big pup here. Look at that trunk and that pup. And then this pup, this is a huge one, the one right behind it. So, I mean, I'm not going to be taking these pups out. Maybe I will, I don't know, but I think it looks really cool. But I feed these a lot. I foliar feed whenever I foliar feed my whole yard. So probably I try to do it twice a month in the summer. And then I, I root feed down here with the fish emulsion, humic acid, liquid seaweed, and uh, chelated iron. Small amounts mixed in a five gallon bucket. I actually need to do a video on that for you. I just fed everything, but this is how I do it. And uh, also, you guys saw one of my videos, is this is where I compost most of my food scraps from the kitchen. You can actually see some moringa branches under here and eggs and all these bugs but the bananas will eat it now so many worm castings down here now look at all those bugs an interesting fact about roly polies guys or pill bugs is that they pull heavy metals out of the soil and they digest them so they make your soil healthier look at all that Oh my, the roots are coming up through there. Oh my gosh. Yeah. That's what your food scraps turn into when you feed them to your bananas. So, this is uh, how I feed these things. So they're, getting, they're growing pretty big. Because I feed them really well. Now the dwarf is, it's growing a little slower than I expected it to grow, but you know, it's, Craig's bananas are doing crazy. He has dwarfs and those are massive. So, you know, Craig's definitely got something going on a little different than my bananas here, but 
I think it'll get there. So maybe by the end of summer, we'll see how these do. And this is the east side of my house. It's the afternoon right now. You can kind of see the sun still hitting over there, but this gets shade in the summertime, probably around 1230 for these trunks. So the east side of the house is the prime spot. I still got a lot of space to plant some stuff in here. I had okra growing last year, but uh, been focusing on the trees. Hi, baby. How you doing, honey? What are you doing, baby girl? So back to the bananas. I encourage you to go get a banana and plant it in your yard. Find a nice microclimate for it, plant it, feed it really well. And then one day you'll get bananas. It was just a real quick video on my bananas, but I wanted to show you an update on them because uh, you really should have some bananas in your yard. Uh, if you live in Phoenix, you, you totally can grow them. It's really pretty amazing that we can grow some of this stuff that we can grow here in Phoenix, but other people have proven it. And so I'm just modeling after what other people have done. So get some bananas and you know what? You're gonna ask, well, do they produce bananas? Yes, they do produce bananas. They will get actual bananas if you, t if you put a banana tree in your yard and grow it you get bananas and I'm gonna keep you in the loop on that. When this thing starts producing bananas, you will see it. So stay tuned for that guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really wanna say thank you to everybody who subscribes to my channel. Um, if you haven't yet and you like what you see, hit the subscribe button, hit the little bell icon so you know when I post more. And right now I'm posting every Friday, Saturday and Sunday at 5 p.m. So stay tuned for those. And thank you so much also to my Patreon supporters. It really means the world to me that you guys support me on Patreon. If you guys do want to become a Patreon, go to patreon.com forward slash develop awesome skills and uh, you can help me plant more trees. Basically, it's a place where you can get behind your favorite artist and help support them to do what they love to do and allow them to do it more. And what I love to do is plant trees and show you guys all of my experiments. So that's what I'm here about. And uh, thank you so much for watching this video. If you like it, give me a big green thumbs up and comment below if you have banana trees, any tips and tricks on how to grow them better, put them in comments below because I need to hear it just as much as everybody else watching this video needs to hear it. I want my bananas to be happy. So a lot of wood chips, a lot of food, a lot of water. They'll take as much water as you want to give them and, and some microclimate protection. That's why I have it on the east side. So, all right. Well, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Until next time, develop awesome skills. Love ya.